Income tax 2023-2024 income tax formula. Get ready and some coffee so we can stave off the government attack with income tax preparation 2023-2024. First, a word from our sponsor. Yeah, actually we're sponsoring ourselves on this one because apparently the merchandisers, they don't want to be seen with us. But, but that's okay, whatever. Because our merchandise is, is better than their stupid stuff anyways. Like our, trust me, I'm an accountant product line. Yeah, it's paramount that you let people know that you're an accountant. Because apparently we're among the only ones equipped with the number crunching skills to answer society's current deep, complex, and nuanced questions. If you would like a commercial free experience, consider subscribing to our website at accountinginstruction.com or accountinginstruction.thinkific.com. In prior presentations, we took a look at the different approaches, the different tools that we will use to understand income tax preparation, income tax laws, those including the formula method, a formula being something that we can typically visualize more easily, it being more distilled than say the tax forms and is great for understanding conceptually. Then we have the actual tax forms, noting that the formula is within the tax forms, in other words, when we calculate the tax forms, there will be a formula to it, but it's more of an expanded type of formula that's not really distilled down to its essence. And then we have the software, the software, of course, having the forms within it and the forms having the formulas within the forms, but the software adds another layer for us to understand with that allowing us quick data input into the software and looking at the result in the format of the tax forms and then trying to distill the tax forms down to its essence, which in essence would be the simplest type of formula. At this time, we wanna focus in on the formula. So we're gonna basically go through line item by line item of the formula. As we do so, you can kind of imagine that each of these line items are gonna have more things that could be included within them. In other words, whenever you have a tax question, then the first thing that might come to mind is where does that thing fall within our formula? Each of these line items having possibly multiple things that could contribute to them. And then once we understand what line item something falls into, then we can kind of visualize what's gonna happen in that line item, and then what's gonna cascade through the rest of the formula. When you look at income tax forms, they are actually expanded on each of these line items. In other words, if you were to create an income tax form just from scratch at this point in time, what you might do is just simply create page one, the summary page, 